very warm regards to all our viewers. I am Dr. Gagan Priya, Senior Consultant Endocrinologist at Fortis Hospital, Mohali. Today I will be addressing you about a menacing problem in India. So our theme here is together we can de-diabetes India. If we look at the figures for our country, India is soon to become the diabetes capital of the world. The problem is affecting all and sundry, right from children to adults to elderly and it's going to create a lot of health issues in the coming future. So it's an effort at our part to help address this issue and we need your cooperation to reduce the burden of diabetes in our country. What we will talk of today is the uh, biological rhythms, the biological clock and how these rhythms affect health and the uh, general well-being of individuals. Now, our uh, current generation is becoming technology friendly and it's a very good thing to do but it's also creating a lot of health problems because it interferes with circadian rhythms. WhatsApp has become so popular and we all have those midnight chats but how does this affect our health? Our body is governed by interaction with nature and there is a light day cycle. The dark and night cycle is how the body entrains itself to stay awake in the day and sleep at night. So these biological clocks which are primarily present in the brain area of the uh, body, they govern what inputs come from outside and then they regulate the functions of various systems which includes the hormonal system, which includes your cardiovascular function, immune system, etc. So if somebody is staying awake for too late or you know in shift workers or when there's jet lag the day night cycle gets reversed this does create interference with the body functions there are several circadian rhythms the sleep wake cycle is one of them then several hormones they are more active in the morning than compared to in the evening that's because the body needs that energy to wake up and be ready for the day when the light begins but if we interfere with this, so we sleeping late at night and getting up late in the morning, your stress hormone levels remain chronically activated and this creates a disruption in health. The same happens with cardiovascular function. Heart rate usually settles down at night, blood pressure is usually lower at night and in the early morning when the hormonal surges are coming, there is an increase in these levels. Again, this is to actually normally prepare the body and be ready for the day. But if we are disrupting the cycle, again health system would be disturbed. So we are seeing a lot of hypertension, obesity, diabetes, uh, cholesterol problems or other lipid problems which partly are being contributed because of our poor sleeping patterns, late waking up or in a lot of patients who have uh, people who have shift work. So we do see a lot of uh, people who are working with international companies who work start their work in the evening and are working till early morning hours and then they go off to sleep but this does impact their long-term health so it's very important that we follow the age-old dictum go to bed early wake up early stay in tune with nature and therefore by that mechanism we can actually improve our overall health we can improve our immune function our hormonal system and we can cause a significant reduction in these disorders Thank you so much.